All right, so I'll show you the washing process. It's pretty simple, really. You just have to be really careful. Um, they do have really thin skin. Wood ducks do. Mallards are the worst, um, especially when the feathers get wet. It gets really heavy, and you can tear it really easily. So you have to be super careful and delicate with this part, and sometimes, you know, you tear it. So here we go. Just going to add some Dawn to it. And for this first initial wash, I have just a little bit of water in there and a lot of soap. Helps get rid of all that grease from the fat. And I just rub the heck out of the skin. Be really careful where these holes are that I put in it. You want to lather that up really good. And the tail region is super delicate. You gotta be really careful with that. Work all that soap out to that edge where that seam is. That's where a lot of the grease collects when you're fleshing. And on really greasy waterfowl like this, I will do a wash like this three or four times before I even think about putting it back on the table and getting it dry. If you don't get all that grease out of there, it gets in your feathers, you know, the plumage, you're not gonna get everything to look right because all it does is just mats it down. A little bit more. Dawn dish soap, when you're doing waterfowl, is your best friend. Work this out to the head, to the edges of the mandibles. Wings, really good. out. Notice, well you can't really see that, but that's grease. Right Say I'll do this three or four more times, but this next part after I get this rinsed off, turn the bird right side out again, and we'll get the plumage and let it soak. Be really careful when you wring it out, don't just squeeze and pull. And all that crap coming out of there. different a lot of people use warm water but you don't want to use super hot water right here but me I like using cold water cold water removes blood out of your plumage a lot better for me anyway I think like I say everybody's different in what they do and how they do it this is just how I've taught myself. Be really careful when you're turning that neck and head inside, right side out again. It helps if your skin's quite wet, because then it can just kind of slide. And this is the part where you need to be really careful. Let's get this out really good. 
more done. A lot more done. This dude is really bad. And then when you go to wash the bird, you don't twist it around like a washing machine. You just knead it. Not like a piece of dough or anything. You just kind of push, squeeze a little bit, get that done in, worked into those feathers really good. Get a good lather going. And what you're doing here is you're trying to get all of that grease and all that fat out of the plumage that you put on there when you're fleshing the bird. Just from grabbing it with your hands and whatnot. Have a little more water. All right. When you go to roll the bird or flip it around in the tub, you don't just pick it up because that'll tear it. And then you have a lot of work to do. So basically all you do, let's see if I can get this here and show you. That's not, that's not gonna work. Basically all you do is you just roll it. Leave it in the tub, leave it in the water, and just roll it. Okay, show you here. And see how dirty that water is? That's all grease. Goodbye.